I really want uptime Kuma running, and normally you would install it in a Docker container. FreeBSD doesn't have Docker containers yet. Work is being done. However, there is a non-Docker setup tutorial on Uptime Kuma's GitHub page. So I'm going to have a look and see if I can get it working. These instructions, there's not many of them. So we're just going to run through it. I've got my terminal open. We'll just see if it works. If, if it does, that'd be great. And then we'll look at how to configure it and get it monitoring my services. Let's jump in. Okay, so here I am on my test bed. This is the one that I used for the FreeBSD Apache MySQL and PHP. It's already got a web server set up, so we may be able to leverage that. That would be good. Let's have a look. Let's see where we are. We're in roots home directory. So let's just do these commands. So firstly, we're going to get the uptime Kuma distribution and it's git clone. So we'll grab that. And then we're going to cd into uptime kuma and there's all the code before i go any further i should tell you i have installed node and node 20 just package install npm and git let's give it a go and see what happens this is the first command npm run setup okay we'll, we'll quickly do that because it's specifically saying do it so we'll just do that and run that first one again yeah, it's complaining about a few things there. That's fine. I, I'm not really that bothered by that. I just want to see if it works. All right, here we go. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually running. So we'll just install PM2 because it does say that this is a second option. Okay, that looks good. Let's give it a go. PM2 start server slash server dot JS name time Kuma. Now that should be running. Of course, I don't know if it is. So we'll have a quick look. Ah, what's my IP address? 11. And we want that on port 3001. This site can't be reached. Now it is running. You can see it's running now. Taking up lots of resources. Okay. So how do I use... Right, let's have a look. Where's my Nginx server gone? Oh, I used Apache, didn't I? All right, we'll do it on Apache then. I'm not actually sure this is gonna work, to be fair. And I'll say why. All right, actually, let's do it as an include. All right, cd Apache, cd includes. All right, let's bung that in there. Let's see if it allows that first. <laughs> That's misspelled or defined by a module not included in this server configuration. Right, okay, so what? Okay, let's try that. Invalid command. Rewrite. Engine. Okay. I'll be surprised if it does work. Okay, let's find out why. 404. Yeah, because it's not running properly, is it? And why? Why is it not running properly? Because it's there. Node. Node. Let's reboot the server because it needs it. Oh, no. Yeah. Phew. Should we try this? When was this done? Doesn't say. We'll, we'll try it this way, I think. Let's wait until it's rebooted. It's rebooted. That should be nice and clean now. Yep, there we go. Right. Clear. Let's maximize this. Right. Okay, that's a good sign. So let's go user local dub dub dub. I've actually got a folder in here called Uptime Kuma, and I don't actually understand why. Okay. Yarn install, production, ignore engines. Maybe this will be better. 
lots of warnings, but I'm not worried about warnings. Just don't care about it. Right, so it's done that. Here, yeah, yeah. Open the configuration file using your favorite text editor, app URL. Um, yeah, which config file? I don't know which one it's talking about. Open the configuration. Which configuration file? Oh dear. Mine failed. And why did it fail? Yeah, I need to look into this more because that's annoying. Because I don't know, it doesn't say. That's annoying. There must be another way of doing this. Oh dear. Right, okay, apparently it's running. I bet it doesn't work though. I think I just sort of realised why. Yeah, I know why now. I wonder if that's done it. No. Hmm. I don't understand why it's not working. Why can't it be reached? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'll have to keep looking into that. That's really annoying. I just want it to run. It cannot be that difficult. I know somebody who's running Uptime Kuma, and I may just ask him for a little bit of help. So, Stefano, uh, expect a message. <laughs> I suspect that you're just running it in a Docker container, but um, I'm going to reach out and uh, just ask you anyway. That'll do for today. Um, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.